Johnny Depp, a Hollywood celebrity, is currently enjoying yet another moment of triumph following his victory in the defamation trial that he fought against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at Big Win. Amber Heard secretly tried to have Johnny Depp's private island. Yeah, you heard it right. Everyone criticizes Amber for frightening her, and everyone criticizes Amber for doing it. I will now give the most recent proof demonstrating Amber's secret efforts to acquire Johnny Depp's private island. You're gonna find out the reason why this is such a crowning success for Depp. In the past six years, the actor's career has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride, what with his exclusion from high budget movies and social media rejection. Even if his ex wife has filed an appeal, it appears like the Pirates of the Caribbean actor may be able to take a break from his legal troubles. A few years ago, according to data collated from a variety of sources, Depp's fortune was estimated to be as high as $650 million but it has since plummeted dramatically. After losing his lawsuit against the Sun tabloid in the United Kingdom for slander, he lavished Amber with gifts worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. In addition, he paid her a divorce settlement of $7 million and a legal fee totaling $8,846. Since their separation, however, the former power couple has displayed open antagonism towards one another, and Amber has been left without the financial benefits that she had received from Depp. In addition, the actress is furious that she's prohibited from entering any of Depp's assets, including his own island, anywhere in the world. This is why she attempted to steal it from behind everyone's backs. It is generally known that the world's wealthiest celebrities own private islands as opposed to homes and high-performance vehicles. The immense fortune accumulated by Johnny Depp is a prime example. Johnny Depp is a renowned actor who has been in several critically praised films, including Pirates of the Caribbean, Edward Scissorhands, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The actor, producer, and singer who won a Golden Globe and has a $150 million net worth were able to fall in love with Paradise and purchase a piece of property there due to his tremendous wealth. When he purchased his own island in the Bahamas in 2004, Little Hall's Pond Key was already the perfect 45 acres of Paradise for him to call his own. It was said to be the most unadulterated of getaways. As a result of his divorce from Amber Heard, his $3.6 million purchase of escapism has turned into a bitter memory for him. And as a result, the Justice League actress is no longer permitted to visit Hall's Pond Key. The island is one of the Caribbean's best positioned private islands due to its location just 100 kilometers from the flashy city of Nassau, which is in the Bahamas. It has been determined that the island is the most pristine location on the entire planet. In addition, it is not hard to comprehend why clear water would result in the formation of picture-perfect sand beaches, which in turn would make scuba diving an almost effortless way to view an abundance of marine life. Since Amber can no longer take advantage of the island's amenities when she's there, it is possible that this is the reason why she's in such a bad mood, and tries to steal it from Depp. In addition to this, it has come to light that Depp found the island while filming Pirates of the Caribbean, which is another interesting fact. In addition to that, who among us wouldn't want to be stranded on a desert island with Eddie Murphy and David Copperfield? Depp was unable to identify any infrastructure when he first landed on the island portion of the Eximus because of the natural foliage, fauna, and residents were so tightly protected. After purchasing the Slice of Heaven, he wasted no time in constructing his very own ranch-style home on the land, which features a wraparound porch that provides a view of the entire property. It is not surprising that several other residences that Johnny Depp owns, such as a beach house and a bamboo yurt, run entirely on solar power. Depp is known for having a wide range of personas, so this is not surprising. On his island, each and every apartment and building manages to be both weird and magnificent at the same time. Even the interior design of his home on the Gold Coast in Australia works fairly nicely with the rest of his space. It is a strange mansion worth several millions of dollars that is encircled by thick greenery. After substance abuse problems caused the failure of movies and marriages, he came to this island to heal and to get his life back on track. It was the perfect location for a religious retreat, and it was also the place where he wed his ex-wife Amber Heard. But let's not get into that. There are six different beaches on the island, and Johnny Depp chose meaningful names for each one of them. For example, he gave them the names Lily Rose and Jack after his own children. In the meantime, as a result of Amber's divorce from Johnny Depp, she was stripped of all her rights, which caused the actor even more suffering. In addition, just a few days after the conclusion of their defamation case, the home that Amber and Depp had characterized as being where they had spent the majority of their time together as a married couple was put up for sale. One of the five homes that the actor owned was a penthouse in downtown Los Angeles. Other properties that he owned include the well-known Eastern Columbia Building. This is yet another location where Amber, her friends, and her family lived, drank, and spent millions of dollars that Johnny Depp gave to them. 
It is very clear that she misplaced all of these things, which is the reason why she attempted to steal this island from Depp. In its most basic form, Amber Heard's life is uninteresting. Do you think the actress has any regrets about ending her marriage to Depp and filing for divorce? So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.